The ringing in my ears became so loud that I felt like I just could not cope or go on with my life. All I wanted to know is that it was going to get better, that tinnitus could go away and that I would feel normal again. Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about my experience with tinnitus, also known as ringing in the ears. It is something that I have struggled with the most in recent years and it has caused me to reach incredibly dark places within my own mind. It has tested me more than I ever thought possible and it has taught me a lot of lessons along the way. I am making this video for anyone struggling with tinnitus or who knows somebody struggling with it. It can be incredibly stressful and severely impact your life if it is persistent and I want to let you know that you can overcome tinnitus and get better. I know that I would have really benefited from a video like this when I first heard tinnitus so I hope that it can bring you some comfort and give you some hope. Now this video will be on the longer side because it isn't just such a simple thing to talk about but I promise you it will be worth it. <laughs> what I ended up discovering is that the medical field doesn't fully understand tinnitus and so will often say that there is no cure and that you have to learn to live with it. However, this is not true. I will first share my experience with tinnitus and then I'll share on what I've learned and how you can overcome it. I have seen a lot of bullshit and quick fixes all over the internet and I hate to say it but there is no quick fix when it comes to overcoming tinnitus. If you do want to overcome tinnitus then it does require deeper self work and I know for myself I was willing to do anything to overcome tinnitus. I first noticed my tinnitus back in June 2020 when I was just walking back to my mum's place with my mum and my niece and I started to hear a ringing in my left ear which was accompanied by a headache. I knew I was just feeling generally run down and tired and so I just kind of ignored the sound at first. When we got back I then had to leave and head off to a work meeting in the city and so I got on the train and then the ringing got louder and louder and I felt instantly overwhelmed. I felt like I had to stand up and I wanted to get off the train, but I knew that I just had to calm myself down and luckily I managed to get off at the correct stop and then met my co-workers. I was able to kind of get through the meeting and the sound actually lowered and by the time I got back home, I just thought, as long as I just have a good sleep, surely whatever this sound is, is just going to go away and it will be okay. Of course, I woke up the next morning and it was there right away. And so that's when I really started to panic and I just had no idea what was going on. I ended up seeing a doctor and he said that I actually had fluid in my ears and that that would be causing the ringing. He said that it might just take a week to go away with medication and that kind of made me settle because I could feel like, okay, this is temporary, it's going to go in a week and that would be fine. However, a week passed and it still wasn't gone. So I ended up going back to the doctor and he just said, you know, it might take a little bit longer, but as the days passed and it still wasn't gone, I went into further and further panic and didn't know what to do. I remember just trying to continue my normal activities, but I just felt too overwhelmed. I tried to distract myself by doing fun things with my partner, but I couldn't even enjoy those moments. I felt absolutely incapable of feeling any positive emotions and all I felt was just complete dread and terror imagining having this sound for the rest of my life. I eventually decided to go and see an ear, nose and throat specialist because I was hoping that he would be able to give me more of an answer. He ended up telling me that the fluid in my ears was definitely gone, but he ended up explaining to me that tinnitus sounds are highly linked to the emotional center in the brain. He said that it's actually your brain that is perceiving this kind of internal sound. I remember crying and just breaking down and thinking like, oh God, this is not just some simple thing all of a sudden that's going to be easily fixed. But at the same time, I was quite lucky that my ENT said that, you know, if you manage to feel less anxious, the sound should be able to go away because I know that a lot of ENTs don't say that and it can create even further panic for people when they see them. I left feeling deflated and overwhelmed and when I got home, I kind of obsessively started researching tinnitus and if you have tinnitus and are watching this video, I'm sure you know by now that that is never a good idea. <laughs> I came across countless stories of people just saying that you need to learn to live with it and that there's no cure. There were these people that were suicidal and that they've had it for 30 plus years and I just remember it sending me into such further panic. I felt so mentally unstable in a way that I had never felt before 
and my mind just was going to such incredibly dark places and I was just feeling like I had no hope for the future or being able to enjoy my life ever again. It's like this invisible nightmare that nobody else can fully understand around you if they don't experience it and so I can totally see why people become suicidal, especially thinking that you just need to learn to live with it. Amongst the chaos, I still wanted to be proactive and felt like I had to find a solution. I started searching for positive stories online and that's when I came across someone named Julian Cohen Hill who was the first person to really take me out of my dread and hopelessness. I watched YouTube videos of him talking about having tinnitus for 20 years and the fact that he no longer hears it anymore. It then took me down the track of reading other positive stories in the comments of people who no longer hear their tinnitus and for the first time in what felt like forever. I felt like there was a glimmer of hope and that I could maybe actually overcome tinnitus. Julian explained that if you are someone that is quite anxious or you have a very active fight or flight response, that it makes sense as to why you are hearing tinnitus because it's essentially like your entire nervous system is just extremely activated and essentially buzzing. He said that it is like a message in the form of a symptom that's trying to get you to pay attention to yourself and to look after yourself. It's like a cry for help from within and works like a stress meter. Before hearing tinnitus for the first time, I had gone through quite a complicated breakup and then my dad became really unwell and ended up in hospital for six months where he then died. I had to deal with the grief and then the aftermath of that. I then went through some other really stressful events that really impacted my life and my anxiety got worse than it had ever been before a couple years ago. Obviously I was going through a lot and not coping very well and so when I started to reflect back on my recent years it started to make a lot of sense to me that my nervous system was definitely very activated. A video of Julian's then led me to a woman named Joey Remini. Joey Remini is a vestibular audiologist and a trained neuroplasticity therapist. Joey herself experienced chronic tinnitus for about four years and she is incredibly knowledgeable and qualified in a way that I think no one else really is in the world when it comes to tinnitus. I enrolled in an online course that she offered and that really helped me. It felt like a safety blanket full of solutions and support and no one kind of really described tinnitus and the ability to heal better than her to me. She has since released a book that I highly recommend reading and is a lot more affordable than the course and it is called Rock Steady. It has changed people's lives and approaches to themselves and their tinnitus and other vestibular conditions such as vertigo which I have also experienced. Joey teaches people that tinnitus sounds are what we can hear in our bodies, our head and our ears that nobody else can hear. She explains that it's actually really normal for our body to make healthy noises and that it shows that our bodies are actually working as they should. She used an example of how a car can make constant noise but it doesn't mean that it's broken. Joey and others explain how becoming aware of tinnitus can begin for multiple reasons. It might be that you have a common cold or you've been exposed to loud noise or you might have fluid in your ears like myself. Joey made me understand that it's actually really normal for people to experience tinnitus sounds that come and go throughout someone's life. However, for someone like me who has OCD, the constant worry and focus on the sound results in it lingering and being there almost constantly. This makes so much sense to me because I have had health anxiety for most of my life. The sound is incredibly distressing, especially when you have no understanding of what is going on. It can feel so isolating because nobody else can hear it. I've learned that tinnitus is almost always harmless. However, it's obviously a good idea to get medical clearance if you haven't already, just for your own peace of mind. And that's exactly what I did. Joey introduced me to neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to change and adapt in response to new experiences, learning and injury. If you think about it in the way of someone who might have been in a car accident and could have been told that they may never walk again, and then they do learn to walk again. Our ability to change and heal is truly remarkable and there are people all around the world overcoming challenges. It was only through educating myself through people like Julian and Joey and by delving into deep work and applying certain practices that I was actually able to see a change within myself and the tinnitus I've experienced. So what can you do about your tinnitus? Well, firstly, I've learned that trying to remove tinnitus actually makes it more persistent. 
because it is teaching your brain that it is important and creating more focus on the sound, therefore making it even more persistent. The more you focus on it, the more you experience it, and that has been a huge and the most challenging lesson for me. Trust me, I know how hard it is to get to a place where you wouldn't want to remove the tinnitus sounds. If I had a magic wand, of course, I would just choose to remove the tinnitus when I first got it. However, continuing to feel this way will lead you to never overcoming tinnitus. It is through accepting that the sound is there and learning not to feel reactive or fearful towards it that your brain will actually learn that the sound is not important. It will then start to slowly move out of your awareness and therefore you will start to not hear it. If you think about like a clothes dryer that's running in your house, you might walk past and notice the sound, but then you'll just tune it out again when your brain doesn't care about it anymore. It can work the same with your tinnitus. It is so simple, yet so difficult at first to put this into practice. Reducing and overcoming the sounds of your tinnitus is more than possible. The problem is there are a lot of solutions out there that lead people down paths that are full of external fixes that ultimately don't work. I tried several things myself along the way, such as craniosacral therapy and sound masking devices and much more. And at a certain point, I had to learn that not one single thing was just going to fix my tinnitus. We are all unique and different things work for each of us, but it is through having a holistic approach to your entire self and by focusing on what you want to feel that you can overcome tinnitus. So remind yourself that tinnitus is temporary and that it is harmless and that it's almost working like a stress meter or a message to get you to look inward and pay attention to yourself. Ideally, you will get to a point where you won't feel the need to talk about it all the time to others and you will stop making it such a big part of your life and your identity because it is by choosing to focus on other things and teaching your brain that it is not important that the tinnitus will be removed from your awareness. Eventually, I started to not notice my tinnitus for most of the day and even if I did hear it, I didn't worry about it and it didn't send me into spiraling and dark thoughts like it used to. I started to feel more joy and actually felt more hope for my future, which is something that I felt like would never be possible again when tinnitus came into my life. Even though I wouldn't wish my experience on anyone, it has still taught me lessons along the way, like I think most struggles that we go through in life do. It has taught me to see myself more holistically as an entire being, like one interconnected system, and has strengthened my body and mind connection. It has taught me to slow down and to try and find more balance in my life and to actually get me to live my life with more intention and gratitude. I'm someone that has tended to put other people's needs before my own and struggle to say no and set boundaries. Slowly but surely, having tinnitus has taught me to get better at these things day by day and it has taught me that in general when we face struggles in life, we need to go on an internal journey when it comes to our healing. We externalize things when it comes to our problems so often because it often feels easier to do that, especially when it can feel like you're drowning on your own. However, you are usually the person that knows yourself best. We need to be able to sit with ourselves, to feel our emotions and to let them flow through us and accept ourselves fully. True healing takes place when you are able to do all of these things and have compassion for yourself whilst also taking responsibility for your own healing. I realized that my goal shouldn't have been to get rid of tinnitus, but rather instead it was like a message to make a deeper connection with myself and to heal parts of myself and my life that needed attention. I was living with so much anxiety and I could barely function by the time that tinnitus first came into my life. And having tinnitus is really what made me make a lot of changes and forced me into action. We are constantly changing and regenerating even down to the cells in our body and we are never the same person that we were yesterday. You can overcome tinnitus and it is possible to change. The internet is full of negative and scary stories when it comes to tinnitus because there are people that either don't worry about it or the people that have had tinnitus and then moved on aren't online talking about it. I'm sure that if you have tinnitus right now, you are probably wondering if I still hear mine. Well, I don't hear it 90% of the time, and even though I'm sure you'd love to hear 100%, I do believe that I will get there one day. 
The ideal outlook, I would say, is though that even if you get to a point where you don't hear it 90% of the time, you aren't going to worry when the tinnitus does come and go in that 10% of the time. For me, in that 10% of the time when I might notice it, it's when I'm usually feeling run down or tired or quite anxious, which all makes sense to me now, knowing what I know, and I know that it can go away again. I do expect it to fully go away one day, and I remember feeling like there was a time that I just would have never believed that. I have seen such a huge improvement within myself and as I said, I don't hear it majority of the time. I also personally know people, even my partner and my mum, who have tinnitus that have come and gone, but because they don't worry about it, it's just a passing sound that might not last any more than 30 seconds. So remind yourself that it is completely normal for tinnitus sounds to come and go in your life and that it's not going to hurt you. It is just the constant worry and focus on the sound that causes the persistent tinnitus. Let tinnitus be a reminder for yourself to go more inward and reflect on your own patterns of behavior and anxieties, your coping mechanisms and beliefs, and start doing some deeper work to begin or continue your healing. Maybe you need to speak with a therapist to begin with, and that can be really helpful, especially if you have no idea how to get started. I think it's incredibly helpful and important to include bodywork and mindfulness practices in your healing process, and that can be something like body scans and meditation. I have found that in general, you can't always think your way through healing and it has to be something that is felt and understood and experienced. You can read Joey's book, which I highly recommend, and I will leave a link in the description below and you will begin to find that your tinnitus will fade out of your life and your awareness as long as you do the work. If you have any questions or just need somebody to reach out to, then please feel free to get in touch with me. I know how dark life can get when you experience tinnitus and so I am 100% here for you and more than happy to chat. I have tried to educate myself a lot when it comes to tinnitus and so I feel like I could offer you some support. Thank you for watching if you managed to get through this whole video and I hope that you have a lovely day or night wherever you are and please, please stay hopeful.